Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about producing histograms using R. A histogram is appropriate for summarizing the distribution of a numeric variable. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We can produce a histogram using the HIST command. To access the help menu, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for, or simply throw a question mark in front of the command name. Let's go ahead and produce a histogram for the variable lung capacity. You'll notice the default in R is to report frequencies, a default title, and a bin width that is determined by R. Now let's talk a bit about how we can change this plot from the default values. First, let's talk about changing the y-axis to represent a probability density rather than frequencies. To do so, we can use the FREQ argument and set this equal to false. It's worth noting that in R, you may simply just use capital F to let R know this argument is set to false. Conversely, we may also use the prob argument and set this equal to true. Again, providing a capital T is enough to let R know this argument is set to true. As noted in earlier videos, we may change the x or y limits using the xlim or ylim argument. Here we'll set the y limits to run from 0 up to 0.2. Now, let's talk a bit about how we can change the bin width. To do so, we may use the breaks argument within the histogram command. We may specify the number of breakpoints. Say seven breakpoints will result in eight bins being produced. Setting breaks equal to 14 will result in 14 breakpoints or 15 bins. We may also use the breaks argument to specify the breakpoints themselves. For example, if we want bins that run from 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, and so on, we may enter these individually. Recall that this can also be done using the sequence command. Setting a sequence that starts at 0 runs up to 16 in increments of 2. We may also add a title using the main argument. As well as label the x-axis or y-axis using the xlab or ylab arguments. I also like to rotate the values on the y-axis by setting the LAS argument equal to 1. The final thing we will discuss is adding a density curve over this plot. This can be done using the lines command. Here we will add a line that is the density for the variable lung capacity. We can also change the color of this line using the col argument. Let's set this equal to 2 or red, as well as the width of the line using the lwd argument. Let's set this equal to 3 to have a much wider or thicker line. To learn more about other things that can be changed on this plot, explore the help menu. In later videos in this series, we will discuss further refining these plots and making them even more beautiful. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.